you know, it's a lot of snow down here, over two feet of snow here on the backs of what happened here in December. is a pretty extraordinary hit for this region to take. Governor Chris Christie speaks from the steps of the Cape May County Library Sunday. The governor stood in front of lawmakers and local officials discussing a weekend snowstorm that left about half the county in the dark. I want the citizens of the county to know that state government is engaged, your legislators and your executive branch are engaged. Lawmakers might show that concern by applying for federal emergency aid. Christie says that decision could come in two days. By Tuesday, Wednesday this week, we'll be in a position to make a judgment about declaring a state of emergency and making the applications necessary to the federal government for reimbursement of county and local, um, uh, local governments uh, for the expenses that they've had to incur and for the damage that we'll be able to assess over the next couple of days. In the meantime, cleanup continues. This Atlantic City electric lineman used his bucket truck to study the wires, trying to restore power. And take a look at James Moore shoveling his mother's driveway. Moore and his wife, Julie, live a few blocks away with their two-year-old son. But they walked here after their home lost power. Yeah, we, we stayed here last night. We'll probably stay again tonight. Until the, power comes back. until the power comes back, almost 1,000 county residents are staying in shelters. Christie says given all the snow that fell, things could have been much worse. There are always things that we can learn from these storms uh, and other uh, natural emergencies to be able to do things better. Uh, but I think overall things have gone fairly well. Christie shook some hands at the end of his press conference. He also met with Atlantic County officials Sunday. Now he'll help decide the next step of the recovery process. In Cape May County, Dan Good, The Press of Atlantic City.